More than 100 hopefuls will show up just to try out. 84 will be selected to the Grip and Rip Baseball League's six member clubs. And at the end of October, a precious few 15 will have the name their parents gave them etched on what is now the storied Howard Bell Trophy. Hello once again, everybody. I'm Rance Berger alongside the founder and the commissioner of the Grip and Rip Baseball League, Tony Lewis. And Tony, as we approach season nine, let's talk about that now storied Howard Bell Trophy and what it has come to mean, what that championship symbolizes for the elite of the Grip and Rip Baseball League. Well, I think it's a complete nostalgic event that these guys get to do. They they burst champagne, they ring a bell um, for a coach who means a lot to a lot of people here in Southwest Missouri. But again, it's it's complete jubilation. These adult men turn into children on the field. It, it's a complete success, historic moment every year that we get to do every year for the JRBL. The players come from all walks of life. We've had them as young as 21. We've had them into their 60s. We've had grandfathers. Uh, we've had millionaires rubbing elbows with ditch diggers. <laughs> but uh, one thing is for certain, on Sundays, they're baseball players. That's right, that's right. Um, all walks of life, like you say, and those friendships continue beyond the league. And, you know, we just are all, it's, we consider it a brotherhood. It's become a community. So uh, as we continue on with Grip and Rip tonight, if you have questions at any point, uh, you can drop them into the chat. If you're not watching them live, go ahead and leave your question down below in the comments section. So the big day, Tony Lewis, we are counting down to Sunday, June 30th, Metter Park. That is where, for the first time, tryouts for the GRBL will be held. Yeah, we're excited to uh, help you know open this, this venue that's been at this historic field in Springfield. And, you know, we've ran the previous eight seasons all over at a Ozark Mountain Sports Complex, which was previously uh, Mountain Duck Stadium in Ozark, mm -hmm. Missouri. Love that stadium. We're still, we'll get into that as we talk further on. But yeah, June 30th, Sunday morning, we're going to see a lot of guys try and relive their baseball dreams. It's guys who peaked in high school, ex-college players, and certainly uh, some ex-pros as well. That's what makes the mix so interesting and so exciting. Uh, from there, we will roll into August 4th. That is, uh, will be the preseason scrimmages heading into the season opener, which will be a triple header. And once again, at uh, Storied Metter Park, we will roll into October. That's when the playoffs will begin. Uh, after Labor Day, we will switch the schedule over to Ozark Mountain Sports Complex. It was where the GRBL was born. And so very fitting that we will play the second half of the season and some playoff games mm -hmm. uh, in Ozark, Missouri. Yeah, and uh, to kind of go back, I, I want to remind everyone out there tuning in and who are also interested, you you sign up to try out by visiting our website, www.thegrbl.com. Um, it's a very quick survey that uh, we have you fill out and questionnaire, and uh, all it costs you is $20 to try and lace them up, and uh, we're going to see probably, over the last several years, definitely at least 120, 130 guys try and vie for those 84 spots that our coaches, we we have a draft at the end. We run it like a pro showcase. So a lot of guys kind of ask, what is it to, that? what do we expect? Well, what do we bring? Just bring yourselves, look like a ball player, and uh, we'll take care of the rest. Well, let's talk about who some of these guys are, six player managers for the Grip and Rips, six respective clubs. And we're happy to report in 2024, four of these gentlemen are back. And, and I know, Tony, this means a lot that you've, you've had managers who stick around as long as they do. So Austin Kendrick, back with the Ozark Mountain Ducks. Courtney Spitz returns to the Nixa Suckers. Daniel England, Mr. Five Time, back with the Moon City Mavericks. And Chris Meza, back with the Republic Locos after a run to the finals in 2023, where he came oh so close. But you look at that list of names, three of those guys, Tony, have been with you since since day one, since the inception. Oh yeah, that we consider those guys and some few other players the original 60. And uh, we've we've been blessed to have such great coaches over the last several years. Um, you know what eggs who exits is Brock Chaffin, mm -hmm. um, excellent teammate, friend, coach uh, of the GRBL, and also Cole Roark. And uh, we wish those guys ultimate best luck with, with uh, what they're doing. But then we're gonna welcome two new coaches who are not unfamiliar to the GRBL at all. Absolutely, for the Springfield Metropolitans, uh, replacing Brock Chaffin, fresh off of back-to-back uh, -back championships, by the way, uh, will be the three-time Most Valuable Player Award winner out of Missouri State University, Clay Murphy. Clay. 
Uh, well, Tony, let's just look at these lifetime numbers here. As a pitcher, over four seasons, 105 innings, 12 earned runs on 57 hits, 163 strikeouts to just 17 walks, two hit batsmen. It computes out to a 1.03 ERA. Uh, in terms of pitchers, I mean, yeah, th th there is a definite reason why the man has won the MVP award three times and is the only player to do so. Oh yeah, I, uh, I would feel confident marching Clay out to face a lot of people right now. His, his stuff is electric, his slider is deceiving and he's still got a, a plus fastball for sure. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens when Clay the pitcher becomes Clay the manager. And a guy who knows a lot about that is, is Cole Rourke, the now retired skip of the Branson Showman. Similar story to Clay Murphy, broke in as a player and, and won awards, won the Howard Bell Trophy as a rookie, and then found out, you know, it's a little bit more difficult when you don't just show up and pitch, when, when you have to worry about skipping the ball club, managing those personalities, putting together the lineup. So. Cole Rourke retires to, uh, to concentrate on his career, his business, and his family, and we, we certainly can't begrudge him from that. So in steps, Jacob Carlson to manage the Branson Showman, former franchise player, now becomes Jake Franchise. Let's take a look at his numbers. Five seasons, he has 54 hits in 146 at-bats, 37 runs batted in, a couple of home runs, seven triples, 14 doubles. He has struck out just 12 times in five years. Are you serious? Dude is hitting 369 and his on base percentage is 449. And oh, yeah, he's a plus plus center fielder. Yeah, I think uh, the phrase speak softly but carry a big bat uh, is definitely Jacob Carlson through and through. Um, very few hitters. And I know a lot of people in the GRBL can agree with me. When he steps up to the plate, um, everyone is on pins and needles who's in that field. So I'm, I'm excited to see exactly how he can lead a team this year. He has definitely has coaching experience. It's kind of what he does now. Um, but then also I think he is very well respected in the league. Um, very excited to see him and I'm very excited to see Clay and Jacob with uh, a pencil now in their hands at times whenever it's not just a ball glove or a baseball bat. Well, uh, don't forget in the GRBL, the player managers are just that player managers. So I'm excited to see those guys continue to play. What else is in store for season nine? Well, we've talked about it, uh, but it, it bears coming back to there has been $1.5 million worth of work done at Metter Park. This was a stadium that was built in the 1960s. It was revamped in 2006, and it's been revamped again here in 2024. Tony, you actually played there as a college ball player. I'm not going to disclose what year that was. <laughs> you know, you and I are friends, but you know, you've got some experience playing uh, in this ballpark and, and on this field, let's talk about the Metter experience and how, first of all, the fans will just be a lot closer to the action and might actually be able to hear some of the conversations happening on the field. Yeah, um, the one word that comes to mind is definitely the intimacy that the players and the fans are going to feel whenever they do come into the ballpark. I know you, myself, and Harry uh, went to go see opening day, and we were very impressed with the feeling of what about three to 500 people can, what kind of atmosphere that brings. And you know, that's that's kind of the attendance that we have for not only our opening weekend, but then also the championship game. And uh, I, I just think moving over to Meta is going to be a different feel. There's going to be uh, pluses and minuses in, you know, when you compare that to the grandeur of Ozark Mountain Sports Complex with 5,000 seat stadium and the Jumbotron, but I think the, the move to Metter is definitely going to be a different feel. What I'd also like to talk about is just their uh, their capabilities, what they have with their cameras and kind of what the live stream, the, how you and I and Harry are gonna approach um, how we run the show exactly, because our live stream is free to anyone who wants to tune in. And Rance is, uh, runs his show, we have we have guest commentators, but I think now we have six cameras that we can play with as opposed to just one. I'm interested to see exactly what Harry can cook up with his team. We have uh, Derek Seiko who came back, who is our production director. Yeah. And uh, also Daniel Davis, his booming voice is in, in the press box. So I think our production is really a major focus for us. I think. I think people, when they come to one of our games, they do see the professionalism. They see, like I said, guys turn into children. They see good baseball. Um, but what I also prided ourselves on is, is bringing it to people 
at the comfort of their home, comfort of their phone, and when they're scrolling Facebook or any social media, but then also uh, we're gonna try and enter our live stream into different venues here in Springfield with other small business support. And uh, we have a lot of small business support, so I'm kind of going to a couple different things, but I am very excited about Metter. I am also excited to also have half the season back at our, our home grounds at uh, Ozark Mountain Sports Complex as well. It's where it all began, and it, it is fitting that we, uh, we do continue to play games at Ozark Mountain Sports Complex, which has had a lot of work done to it as well and is, is uh, the backdrop for a whole lot of baseball beyond uh, just the grip and rip mm -hmm. league. Um, as far as that live stream goes, Tony, you, you talked about how, you know, we, we try to present a, an approach that's, you know, maybe we take it a little more seriously than we should, uh, but we sure have a lot of fun doing it. And you mentioned Harrison Waters and Derek Seiko, uh, you know, those are uh, the true talents on the crew. I'll just leave it at that. But uh, one thing I've always liked about uh, bringing Grip and Rip games into people's homes on the YouTube channel is that I actually do get to know my audience. And, and sometimes people chat with me. I'm not very good at the chat during the game, but I do go back and look at the comments later. And it's always so interesting. Uh, you know, we don't get a lot of fans who discover us by accident. Uh, it's a lot of, first of all, the players' parents. Uh, so we get moms and dads tuning yeah. in and they, they tell us where they're watching from, which is a lot of fun. But we get the players' wives and girlfriends. We get the players' kids. Occasionally we get a, a grandparent or sometimes a player is a grandparent. So we get grandkids tuning in on the YouTube channel to check out the game. And it, it does just feel like, uh, you know, one big party that everybody's invited to, whether you're at the stadium or watching on stream. Absolutely. Um, and and that's, that's what the GRBL really is. It's, it's something very unique to this area. It's unique uh, to the heart of America. Um, we're more of a purist form of baseball. We, we play wood bat baseball, nine innings. Um, we do average, you know, a couple hundred people per game. And when you think about that, to see gentlemen age 21 up to upper 50s, and we've had a 60 year old mm -hmm. there before, that's impressive. Yep. And not only that, you know, we have middle inning games, we have kids races, we have small business support, mid innings, we have commercials on your live stream. We have over 30 small businesses that support this small business. Is, you know, I, this is, I think, just such a great thing that we have in our area. And it's a testament that we've been doing this for almost a decade. And I really do think that season nine is a very pivotal year for the GRBL. And we welcome, absolutely, if this is your first year to the GRBL, the first year to try out, you're gonna be blown away and in a great way. It's gonna feel, like I'm telling you, the nostalgia is gonna come back to you. Uh, and if you are so lucky to make a team and your family and or your parents get to watch you play baseball again, that is a feeling that you cannot replicate anywhere in the entire United States. You can't. And uh, I'm very confident in that. And I would put our league or our guys up to any league up in the country. It is truly a unique, just fantastic experience for those who just cannot put that bat down or put that glove down. So I don't know. I'm very proud of what we've done. Um, very thankful for our staff. It is just such an amazing experience to where we're embarking on season nine. And season nine will be the year where we do a few things different. We're gonna try some things. It'll be the first time we take a regular season game on the road. Uh, before we do that, we are actually going to take the show on the road once again. This happened in the summer of 2023, but we are going back uh, to the Show Me Baseball Complex down on Table Rock Lake, Bill Verdon Field. We are going to round up uh, a squad of GRBL All-Stars and uh, we're gonna go play against some college guys. Yeah, the uh, our, our partners at Ballparks of America, um, they, they invited us back down and they control the Show Me Collegiate League, which is a summer collegiate league. So on July 6th at Bill Verdon Field, the GRBL all-Stars are going to scrimmage amongst themselves, but then they're also going to combine that team to face the best of the Show Me Collegiate League, which is comprised of all area and probably other national collegiate talent. So we're going to put our uh, our brand and our talent to the test against uh, college guys. And, and we've done it before and we've fared very well and we're excited for the challenge. And we're also excited to go back down to Table Rock Lake. That is such a beautiful venue. Um, they have done a fantastic job 
with keeping those fields, well, bringing those fields up to the condition where they are at. So we are excited to go down there. Uh, more details on that um, on July, Saturday, July 6th. Um, and uh, there'll be a fireworks show, there'll be barbecue, there'll be a Americana at its finest. Watch the Facebook group, we will post updates and uh, we'll be reaching out to quite a few baseball players between now and July 6th, you can bet on that. Well, Tony, grip and rip tonight. I mean, man, the energy. We are uh, just about a month away from June 30th and tryouts. Uh, the season is gonna be here before you know it, my friend. And I, I think you hit the nail on the head. Season nine is going to be pivotal. It's gonna be great. Absolutely. Uh, I want to remind everybody, the only way that you can try out is by signing up online at www.vgrbl.com. And uh, if you have any questions, you can also write us. There's a contact us link on there. But then also, if you have any quick questions, we'll be uh, tuning into this broadcast. And you just comment or question in the link below, like Ransom mentioned previously. So, yeah, uh, we are excited, to say the least. That is the founder of the commissioner, Tony Lewis. We'll see you at tryouts June 30th, Metter Park. Until then, I'm Rance Berger. Good night from Springfield, Missouri.